Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Todd Blackman, your sense drummer, and we're pretty much talking about uh, hardware. Yeah, that's right. That's a big secret that not a lot of people know about is setting up the hardware. And uh, now you might be thinking, Todd, I know how to set up my hardware, but I'm going to show you something that you probably never thought about before is the position of your hardware is super important for your playing. So you don't have an accident. That's right, people. So let me kind of explain uh, what I'm talking about. So let me explain what I'm actually talking about here. So to me, it really doesn't matter what kind of hardware you have. Now, all these companies have different uh, tech specs over their uh, hardware and stands uh, for drumming. Some of them uh, have a little bit of insulation in their uh, tubing. Some of them uh, might be just basic metals and uh, nothing too fancy. And uh, you don't want to get anything that's colored. You know, uh, that's what I'm talking to you, Peisty. And, uh, and DW, Gold's. Gold, golden hardware, yeah, we really don't need it. We never, we never even asked for it. But anyway, so in this video, I'm pretty much uh, going to show you that you really don't need the expensive hardware. You just need something to hold your symbols. And I, and that's not be being a cheap person at all. No, 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 I'm not cheap. No, you know. So no, but what I am getting at is it doesn't involve that type of stuff. What it does involve is the position, and I'll kind of explain and I'll show you what I mean. You know, so imagine you're on a gig and your symbol falls. Why did it fall in the first place? Because you did not set up your hardware right. That's right. So it's not because you uh, didn't tighten it up. You did. You tightened it very tight, which is a big no-no. So you want to just tighten it uh, pretty, pretty casual. Not like, yeah, you know, that's like a car. But you want to just tighten it up to like a finger tension and all that. Now, here's the big thing about hardware. The legs, that's the secret about the hardware. This is the reason why cymbals kind of fall from their stance when you hit them very hard, which you're not supposed to. You know, but let's say you got a little excited. You know, so you hit the cymbal and it just falls. Why did it fall? Because you did not put the leg in the right place. So here's an example of doing it the wrong way. You know, once you hit it, it's actually going to move. You know, now, if we switch the leg, and move the leg in a position where it's actually pointing towards the point of impact, then you're actually doing um, something right. You're actually one step closer to actually being a professional, thinking like a professional. And also this is actually the right way to do it. Now I do this with all my hardware except for the hi-hat stand because the hi-hat stand is pretty stable and all that. I don't even do this with uh, the foot pedal. I only do it with the cymbal stands. And especially if you're using a boom stand, this is where you really, really need to focus on this is a boom stand. Now you can either do this with a single brace, you can definitely do this with a double brace. It's a fail safe uh, way of making sure that your cymbals don't fall down. Now this kind of feels like a quick tip and all that. Now we're not talking about uh, how to pack your hardware. There's so many things you can talk about with hardware and it's a lesson of itself which not a lot of people even talk about, oh, this is how I set up, this is how I uh, take down my drums, and all which I think it would be a quite beneficial video, which I think might, uh, that might be another video I might make in the future. And also, but for today, this is like a, a quick tip type of thing of uh, how to prevent your cymbals from falling down, a foolproof and professional way of thinking. And also, yeah, so how do y'all set up uh, y'all's uh, hardware? I'm curious of what y'all think about that. And also, uh, do y'all actually do this system or do you actually do something else? I'm curious about what y'all think. Uh, do you have your legs uh, wide out or thin or what kind of brace are you using? And uh, so I'm curious. I'm curious uh, what y'all think about that. And uh, so, yeah. So I'm Todd Blackman, your essential drummer. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and follow some of my other social media platforms. And I will see y'all guys in the next one.